Good day everyone and welcome back. Today the Water Nymph SCP-054. This one really highlights some of the brutal methods the Foundation will go through to further understand an anomaly. A thank you to the Council and Administrators, and let's get cracking. Description Out of the water the subject most often appears as a female humanoid with a mean volume of 90 litres comprised entirely of water. Other forms are possible, commonly geometric shapes. When it enters a body of water, it becomes indistinguishable from its surroundings. The subject must periodically return to a body of water in order to maintain its volume due to evaporation. Initially found in it was moved to Site 8 for further study. Subject was initially curious about Foundation personnel and seemed to enjoy interacting with maintenance staff and researchers and mimicking their forms. After a number of weeks, the creature apparently felt comfortable enough to remain out of water during routine monitoring, though it retreated when attempts were made to study its composition. SCP-054 is apparently composed of normal water, with no detectable differences compared to ordinary spring water from the same source. No thermal, electromagnetic, biological or other phenomenon has been detected in its body that would suggest how it animates. Water lost by SCP-054 to evaporation exhibits no special properties when condensed. Experiments with SCP-054 were halted following two researchers injured. After this incident, containment protocols were updated. Subject thereafter exhibited signs of mistrust and aggression around male personnel, which made up the majority of the original research staff. Subject reclassified Euclid. Special Containment Procedures Subject is held in a watertight isolation room outfitted with specialised climate control equipment. An ornate fountain filled with water stands in the centre of the enclosure. Maintenance personnel are required to wear NBC suits while inside the containment area and must spend 10 minutes in a special drying room after exiting. In the event of a breach, the surrounding area should be evacuated and the enclosure flushed with liquid nitrogen. The fountain's chemical levels and volume are to be monitored and maintained. Spring water from should be used as SCP-054 is highly sensitive to hydrological conditions. SCP-054 has developed a mistrust for human males during its confinement, thus assignment of female personnel is recommended. Audio Journal 054-Alpha Water Loss Experiment Subject becomes withdrawn and inactive when denied access to water. Its compact shape is theorized to reduce surface area exposed to evaporation. For the first few days, it moved eagerly to greet anyone entering its enclosure, and behaved excitably. Possibly indicates an understanding by the subject that we can control its access to water supplies. The subject ceased this behaviour yesterday, presumably in recognition that no help was forthcoming. Temperature Extremes Testing We got authorization to attempt sub-zero testing this morning. The subject became lethargic as the temperature fell and froze completely after... Spectroscopy of the ice crystal revealed no abnormalities. Ice chips were collected for study. This is in stark contrast to its behaviour in the 95 degree tests, when it became aggressive and attempted to escape its enclosure. We have submitted a work order to combine the climate control equipment with the subject standard enclosure, as it has begun to resist efforts to transport it to experimental chambers with increasingly desperate behaviour. Memory and Conditioning Evaluation Subject has proven unexpectedly adept at navigating complex mazes and solving puzzles. Dr. Siskel has finally overcome the problem of motivating the subject by the application of electrical shocks and or silica desiccants. He joked that we should have it trained to fetch in no time, and after observing his methods, I think he might be right. Note, subject to be allowed a 48-hour recuperation period. It seemed to be lagging in its progress at the end of the week's experiments. Acid Incorporation Experiment I am starting with a 0.5 mole hydrochloric solution. I have no idea what will happen, but if this thing incorporates homeostatic mechanisms like I suspect, then we should get some insight into how it maintains its form. Temperature in the enclosure has been loaded to 278K to help control 54's increasingly erratic behaviour. Addendum 054 Bravo After five years with no incident, subject rating has been downgraded to safe on the recommendation of Dr. Experiments will resume under the auspices of Biological Unit Echo 7. Caution should still be exercised when interacting with the subject. And that concludes SCP-054. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Massive thank you to all the patrons and members who keep the channel going. Please consider joining them. 
and thank you to Rick Trexon, Generals Alert, Wings of Amin, JT Walker, Horizons, Nicholas, Number of the East, Pepperfish, Wedge the First, Wunderschnell, Fallen Angel, Splendid the Tear God, The Lav, Lesby Friends, Razman, Ken, Guardian of Energy, Lunar Galaxy. Big thanks to the council members Arctoast, Kibara, Captain Core, Hunter Killer, Tree, Cat Clone, Kilo, Lil Sub, Nikes, Monarch, Kikirun, and Swift Roar. And huge thanks to the administrators Viger, Kamana, Romulus, GFHD, Pro Voice Actor, and Dante. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all soon and take care.